Okay, so WordPress. Somehow still breathing, somehow still dominating. We've got React-powered full-stack madness, headless CMSs, low-code drag-and-drop page builders, and yet WordPress is sitting there like an unbothered elder god of the internet. But how do we even get here? But before we start, please like this video and subscribe to become a fellow codehead. All right, back to the video. Let's time travel real quick. Yeah, it's rewind time. It's 2003. A couple of developers, Matt Mullenweg and Mike Little, fork a dead blogging tool called B slash Cafe Log. They decide, you know what? Let's make publishing on the web easier. No crazy goals, no talk about market domination, just vibes and blogs. Fast forward 20 years and now WordPress powers over 40% of all websites. That includes CNN, TechCrunch, the freaking White House. Somehow, the scrappy blogging platform from the early 2000s became the backbone of the internet. So what happened? First, it's open source. WordPress said, here's the code, have fun. And the community absolutely ran with it. People built plugins, themes, tools, full businesses. It became this massive ecosystem where if WordPress doesn't do something out of the box, someone probably built a plugin that does. Need a store? Install WooCommerce. Want to optimize SEO? Yoast. Want to turn your site into a dating app, a membership platform, or a glorified to-do list? There's probably a plugin from some dude in Estonia who made it in 2016 and never updated it again, but it still works. Kinda? Second, WordPress made things easy for non-coders. I mean, really easy. You didn't need to know PHP or SQL to launch a site. You just installed WordPress, picked a theme, clicked a few buttons, and boom, you had a functioning website before your coffee got cold. Compare that to spinning up a modern JS stack where you have to npm install 9,000 packages before your navbar renders. WordPress was basically Web 2.0's cheat code. And let's not forget the hosting explosion. Every hosting company on earth jumped to support WordPress. Shared hosting, managed hosting, cloud hosting, you name it. They've got a one-click install for WordPress. That made launching websites ridiculously accessible. A kid with a laptop in Tunisia could be building client websites for $200 a pop and scaling to an agency just off WordPress alone. Even when new players showed up like Wix, Squarespace, Webflow, WordPress stayed sticky. Why? Because it's flexible. Unlike those platforms that limit you to their ecosystem, WordPress lets you go wild. You want to edit your theme files directly? Sure, just don't break your site. You want to add 57 jQuery plugins from 2011? Go for it, cowboy. The freedom is dangerous, but it's what kept developers around. Now, sure, people love to dunk on WordPress. They say it's bloated, outdated, insecure, full of spaghetti PHP from 2005. And yeah, that's not entirely wrong. It is bloated. The admin panel looks like it hasn't been updated since Obama's first administration. But what the hell? And yeah, if you install sketchy plugins from sketchier websites, your site might start mining crypto for someone in Russia. But here's the thing, WordPress is evolving. Slowly, painfully, but still. Gutenberg, the block editor, was a step toward modernizing the content editing experience. There's even a REST API, meaning you can treat WordPress like a headless CMS and build your front end in React or whatever other masochistic stack you're into. There are teams of core contributors working constantly to improve it, and the ecosystem is so massive it's hard to bet against it. Ultimately, WordPress still wins because it works. Not because it's elegant, not because it's cool, but because it solves the problem of, I want a website, better than almost anything else. It's not the future of web dev, but it's definitely still the backbone of the present. And if WordPress is still powering the present, you might as well run it on something built for the future. That's where Kinsta comes in. They offer managed WordPress hosting that's fast, secure, scalable, and honestly just makes your life easier. No more plug-in chaos, no more sluggish load times, no more mystery downtime at 3 a.m. Kinsta gives you a clean, intuitive dashboard, automatic daily backups, free migrations, and 24-7 support from real engineers, not outsourced scripts or AI that pretends to care. Over 120,000 businesses already use Kinsta, including agencies, devs, and e-commerce brands that actually need their sites to work. If you're serious about building something on WordPress, don't settle for shared hosting duct taped together. Click the link in the description or scan the QR code to get your first month free with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Thank you for sitting through yet another tech rant, and if you enjoyed it, leave a like and subscribe to become a fellow codehead.